So my first question is that this film is based on a best-selling novel of the same name. Yes. So what drew you to the material and what were you most careful about when uh, turning it into a film? Yeah, it's because it's, it's, it's hard. well, I first I it had been out for a year or so before I even knew about it. But when I opened up the book and saw the photographs, it just really touched me. I found those because I look at old photographs a lot, and I find that they're very powerful in the way that you perceive them, the the sort of haunting weirdness and creepiness and emotion and poetry. When you look at a photograph, that I find very compelling. And then when I read the the story, you know, the themes of feeling peculiar, like you don't fit in, and fantasy and reality, all those kind of themes are stuff that that, that have been important to me, think, been thinking about for a long time. And that, and at the same time, as you say, it's like a, it's a difficult to adapt a novel right. <clears throat> because there's lots of things that people like about a novel, and then you don't know if a movie, you know. So we change some things, you know, because. Again, in a movie, you take a novel, and sometimes characters get taken out. Sometimes it gets condensed. Right. You know, in the case of this, some of the the, the, the Emma and all of we switched around in terms of fire versus floating, because it just sort of felt the floating thing was a bit more cinematic in the terms of these two characters. But you know, the 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 lucky thing was is that the author Ransom Riggs, who's you know. The author of the book and still alive, you know, he was a very good collaborator, right. and he, you know, he was very, uh, you know, integral in the sense of giving his blessing to understanding the difference between a novel and a movie. And so, um, you, you know, it, it's always nice to have that collaboration, and that, and 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 because you know, if you change things like this, sometimes people get really upset about it. Right. But but he was very very, you know, into the whole process. Okay, so. I've also read that you chose to shoot uh, this film with as little CGI as possible. Yeah. Um, what led you to make that decision, and how did it help the film? Well, yeah, I mean, we, we did obviously use CGI, right. and a, a fair amount of it as well. But uh, I think it's because um, of s several reasons. One of the reasons is a lot of the children, kids, hadn't acted before. And rather than being on a green screen all the time, it was like it was nice to, you know, like find a real house. Right. Find you know, real locations, uh, you know, do do real effects like you know when they're floating, you know, because they all wanted to do their own stunts as well. So it's like even the little ones. So you know they were like flying and floating and doing this. They, that's what they were excited about. And I think it just made it more, made them more of a part of it and made it more of a human experience as opposed to you know because sometimes when you're in a green screen all day long you start to go crazy. And this way. You feel like you're in the story, you're connected to the material, right. and that's the reason. Okay. And this is the second time you've cast uh, Evergreen mm. in your film. Mm. Uh, what made you choose her as uh, Miss Peregrine? Mm. Well, she reminded me of a teacher I had when we were young, a very beautiful, strong, and it's the only teacher in my whole history of school where everybody listened to the teacher right. you know they were sort of mesmerized by her hypnotized you know and just Eva's got so many qualities that are, are you know she can be funny emotional strong mysterious all at once and, and, and you know she's got that look like she looks like she's a bird you know I, I, so she's very very just extremely got great ideas so I mean I love working with her and, and I just she was the first person I thought of did this. Uh, final question. Um, you were you visited Korea in 2012. Yeah. And you know, so you must know there are a huge following in Korea. Uh, well, I, I don't know, but I did enjoy going there. Okay. Yeah. So could you say uh, hello to your fans who are yeah. eagerly waiting for this? Day? Okay. Hello, Korea. I went there many, a few years ago for my exhibition. It's the first time I've ever been there, and I loved it. I felt so, like, creative and special, and like saw things that I'd never seen before. So I hope you enjoy the movie, and I hope to come back and visit soon. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, man. Thanks.